<laughs> All right, guys, I'm back. I'm gonna do another similar video, road trip video here. It's kind of the funniest story. I was talking to my wife on the phone yesterday. She'd gone kind of to a neighboring town um, to go look at some, I don't even remember why, she was shopping for something. Anyway, I got a call from her on the way home, said, hey, there's a sign that says there's a sports card show in this town. I'm like, what? Because I've never heard of a sports card show. She's like, yeah, there was just a sign by this intersection saying sports card show at this so-and-so address. So um, I'm a bit perplexed because I've never seen or heard of a card show here. I Googled it, tried to figure out some more information. Couldn't find anything. I don't know if it's just a person who set up sports cards at a garage show or what exactly I'm going to be getting myself into. Uh, but I thought I'd check it out. And even if I, uh, there is no card show and it's not even going on today because she told me this yesterday and uh, may not have even been a two-day event even if it is an event, <laughs> but I'm going to go up there and give it a shot. And I figure even if I can't find this uh, mystical card show, that I'll at least stop by uh, maybe a Big Lots, Walgreens, Walmart, and see what cards they have there, although this town is notorious for not being very well stocked. Um, but maybe that will be more of an accurate representation of what you guys are finding around you all as well. So anyway, uh, it's about a 30-minute drive, and I will see you guys when I get to this infamous card show. We'll see you. Okay guys, this is where my wife said she saw the sign for the card show. And the only sign I see here is for this yard sale. So I think I'm out of luck. See my camera focuses back there. She did tell me where the address was though that it said, so I'm gonna drive by there just to see what it is. But I'm feeling like this is gonna be a ginormous bust maybe it was just like a garage sale or something so all right i'll let you know all right guys so this is the infamous card show looks like it's somebody's set a garage sale that they set up that they aren't even working today so it's a bust but i think there's some other stores down here i may check out all so, right so you guys won't believe this but uh i walked up to that house just to kind of see if there was somebody you know sitting there that i just couldn't see see if they had anything still sitting out I just kind of walked by and uh, there was a guy sitting on the porch uh, and, he, and I said, hey, am I, I guess I'm too late for the baseball cards. He's like, oh yeah, that was yesterday. They're not doing that today. It's like, but hey, the guy who, uh, the guy who had it set up, he's, uh, he's kind of my landlord. Um, let me give him a car real fast. And I'm like, oh no, man, you don't need to do that. It's not a big deal. I was really just going to be okay moving on with my day. But uh, he called up his, his landlord and he was there within five minutes and he showed me a bunch of cards. Um, anyway, this, this guy was super nice. Uh, the guy's like, yeah, he's my landlord. Um, he helped me. He owns this house and the one next to it. He owns like this three, these three blocks of houses and told me a story. He'd, you know, um, recently got out of prison in the fall and this guy opened up, you know, let him rent his house and it was super nice. And I'm like, oh, all right, well, I mean, uh, if, if it's not a, not a hassle, I mean, I guess I can hang around. He's like, oh yeah, he'll be here in, in no time. And so, yes, sure enough, this guy shows up, a super sweet guy as well, a little older gentleman. Um, had some cards, I guess, just stored in this in this guy's house that he's been renting and pulled out three or four boxes of cards and let me look through them. I bet I looked through them for 30 minutes. Um, had some score 2020, had some older cards that were vintage cards, 50s and 60s and 70s. Uh, some of them were reprints, You could, and he told me, he was pretty upfront. He's like, yeah, this is a reprint, this is not. And some of them he wasn't sure, and I couldn't really tell. Like he had the, uh, the iconic Bob Gibson rookie card from Topps, which he said was a reprint, and it it probably was and he had some other cards that were just hard to tell if they were real or not and so I didn't really do uh, do too much with those just because I don't know a lot about it and then he had some uh, Kansas City and some chief stuff uh, royal stuff and then just some general cards as well so I did end up buying some things uh, after he came out there and and uh, reworked his schedule and opened up his his stuff for me I felt like I in the least needed to spend some money for him and he gave me an awesome deal way way better deal than than what he should have uh, let me show you what I bought here if I can reach over. We'll start with the small stuff and the price on here isn't what he had me pay. I, I, I'm a kind of a Dan Marino fan so this Dan Marino card from Prism which um, is obviously just a common card. This Eric Hosmer from 2018 Tops. I just like the photo. I don't think I have this one. It kind of looks like a short print. I don't think it is. Um, he had two dollars on there. It's it's He didn't charge me two dollars and to be honest it's not a two dollar card. Uh, the same same year, he had a Mike Trout sitting in there uh, from 2017 tops as well. Uh, anytime I can get a Trout 
I'm going to pick it up. I'm going to try to eventually, I'd like to get all the base trout tops cards um, from his whole career. I, that's something I'd like to do is kind of a long-term project. Uh, he had a few Derek Jeter things, a few rookies. Uh, this is the score rookie, so it's not going to carry as much value as obviously some of the others. 1996 score, Derek Jeter, um, number 240. And um, he cut all these prices in about half. But then the ones I'm pretty cool, or I thought were pretty cool, that I'm pretty excited to get. I'm not a big basketball guy, but he had LeBron James in this big uh, kind of look almost looks like a photo display case. Um, from 19, or not 19, sorry, 2006, 2007. It looks like this might be his fourth year card. Just a pretty cool photo, and LeBron James, I really don't have a lot of his cards because I wasn't collecting. So I thought, you know what, that was the first card I saw of his that I'm like, you know what, I can at least buy that one. LeBron James will probably only go up in value. And uh, a base card, tops card, especially with a cool photo like that, you know, it might be worth something. And here's one I'm actually, um, I don't know a lot about, but I am pretty cool, or I think it's pretty cool, sorry about that. This Don Drysdale, PSA, he did have a few PSA cards. He had a PSA Brooks Robinson uh, in like a two. He had a Juan Marichal in like a four. Um, he had one other one other card. I can't remember who it was. Uh, oh, a Harmon Killerbrew tops card in, in like a four or five, I think. But he sold me this Don Drysdale from 1960, which I don't really have any cards from this, this long ago. PSA um, graded four. And he sold that one to me for $5. Uh, which I thought was insane. I mean, it cost more than $5 just to get this card graded. So um, he was super nice. All these cards in total, he quoted me a price of $15, which I'm like, man, I, I honestly didn't have change. I'm like, here, I'll just pay you $20 um, for your time and your effort. And it, it was just really cool of him to open that up. So I was actually able to find some cards. It, that sign wasn't bogus and it wasn't a, actually a, a, a false tip by my wife. So Anyway, yeah, I walked away with a PSA 1960 of Don Drysdale, and then a LeBron James card, and then some other uh, a Jeter and, and a Hosmer card for $15, well, $20. Uh, I thought it was pretty neat. So anyway, uh, that I didn't want to film with the guy right there, so I didn't actually film any of the cards, but that, that worked out pretty well. So I'm going to try to hit up Walmart and Walgreens just to see. I was watching Ollie Moon Collectibles cards. He was able to find some uh, Top Series 2 at his Walgreens down in Georgia or Florida, and so I'm going to see if they have it here. Um, probably not going to happen, but you never know. So I will uh, take you guys along for the journey. And uh, if I stop at any other Casey's gas stations and find anything, I'll let you know that as well. So uh, this has been surprisingly better than I thought. So I'll catch you guys on the flip side. All right, guys, both the Casey stations I've stopped at so far have been absolute bust. Just some Pokemon cards. Score 2020 football is about all that's in there. Uh, I've actually stopped at three of the five Casey's that are in this town. This town's pretty big. It's closer to 20,000, which some of y'all think that's not very big, but <laughs> around here that is kind of big. Um, so I'm only going to stop in this last one. Um, probably not going to see much if none of the others have anything, but uh, but if there is, that's great. And if not, I may f I may film this one just to show you what it, what it is and where to look for it in a Casey's if you ever are in one. So uh, not very high hopes on this one. I'm probably going to strike out on this one and then uh, head towards Walmart and see what they have there. All right, we'll see you. Okay, guys, you can, you can see here I'm at Walmart. This is a much bigger Walmart. Even though it's bigger, sometimes that doesn't always equate to a better card selection. Uh, this town is kind of notorious for not really having anything even worse than my kind of area of Walmart. But I'll give it a shot. Uh, you saw there the Casey's I just stopped in. That was pretty typical of what I've seen in all of them. Just the heritage and the score, football, and then the random Pokemon card. So I don't know how my Casey's got so lucky to get the Mosaic in the 2018 Top Series 2 Baseball, but... Uh, must have just been my lucky day whenever I found that in there because it's not anywhere else around here. So I'm going to go in, in this Walmart. I'll try to film if I can. If not, uh, I'll just kind of give you a recap whenever I get out of there. All right, here we go. You all 
all saw that one. That's about what most places look like around here. Absolutely nothing. So anyway, that was pretty brutal. Uh, obviously, it didn't take me long to get in and out of there. I always stop at a Big Lots. That's where I'm sitting at right now in the parking lot of Big Lots. Uh, they used to have cards back in like November, December. I haven't seen cards since then. But anytime I'm in this town, I stop by just because it's the only Big Lots like within an hour of me. Hoping to get lucky. Um, doubt I'll find anything in here, but uh, we'll see what we can find at a Big Lots. We'll see you. guys I couldn't believe that big lots winning today uh, you saw me grab in there new low price 2018 series 2 with Bryce Harper uh, Ronald Acuna jr. short print possible not likely Glaber short print possible but not likely for five bucks and then um, I went ahead and picked up this football pack with Patrick Mahomes I don't really know why just because it was five dollars on clearance uh, there might be some decent rookies in there but anyway uh, I could not believe that Big Lots came through in the clutch. They haven't had cards since like November, December. So uh, that's pretty awesome. If you have a Big Lots in your area, you may want to check it out. It's always kind of close to the register unless they're like, they've revamped their store. It's always kind of close to the register on its own little display island thing. So, all right, we're heading to Walgreens. Then I'm going to grab some food and head for home. All right, final destination. We're here at Walgreens. Uh, so like I said earlier, I saw Ollie Moon Collectibles in his video. Recently found some of the... Um, Hanger boxes at Tops 2020 Series 2 that have some of those special, um, oh, the special yellow parallels. So if I'm lucky, I'll be able to find some here. This is the Walgreens where I found the Series 1 hanger boxes that had the yellow Jordan Alvarez and a Pete Alonso Advanced Stats card. So I have a little bit of hope, but um, I'll call it maybe 40, 60, 40% 40 chance. So I'll head in there and I'll show you what they have. I don't know guys what's happening here I guess I'm getting pretty lucky today uh, you saw there in the video they had the 2020 series 2 uh, hanger boxes here I picked up a couple of them I uh, don't know how long they'd been there but uh, for $9.99 that's cheaper than what they are at Walmart these have the special yellow parallels you can see right there exclusive yellow parallels inside um, that's pretty cool so uh, what started out as a trip where I didn't really think I would find too much I was able to get couple of these for series two this has the obviously the Luis Robert card if you could hit that in the in yellow I looked it up in Walgreens it's selling for like 250 bucks right now which is obviously insane um, there's that Pete Rose card like the Phillies decades best team that has Pete Rose uh, on the background or in the background of the card that's kind of gone nuts because he's technically I don't think supposed to be on cards with his ban from baseball uh, there's also the Andrew McCutcheon short print with the with the giant gold chain and the throwback jersey that went nuts there for a while and might still be so uh, some pretty cool options in series two even though it's not maybe uh loaded with rookies like series one so to find this to find the 2018 series two at big lots and to actually find some cards from that guy in the at the garage sale um yard sale was was kind of crazy so all in all a pretty good pretty good trip guys i'm not going to open any of it right now i'll probably open it in another video uh, but you guys will be with me whenever I see what I get from these packs. So thanks so much for being a part of this journey again. I'm going to head home, and uh, I will catch you guys on the flip side. Be good out there. We'll see you.